Every week on this channel, we feature different options for dealing with rodent problems. I've already posted several hundred videos testing out different traps, both live catch and kill traps for mice, rats, and other small animals. Now the mouse trap is the most patented item out there. There are over 3,000 mouse trap patents and many more designs that were never officially registered. I can continue to post between four and five rodent trap videos a week and not run out of material. In my collection, I have over 200 mouse traps that I still want to feature, but a lot of YouTube viewers have been asking for an alternative to deal with their rodent problem. Many people don't want to deal with traps or poison, and they're looking for a safe and humane alternative. And there are a lot of products out there that work as a deterrent, both with smell, sound, light, and other options. Last week, I featured this. This is mouse birth control, a really unique option, but there's a lot of other deterrents I'm going to feature. This week, we're going to take a look at the Victor Pest Chaser Rodent Repeller. The Pest Chaser says it not only works as a rodent repeller, but also doubles as a nightlight. There's two units in here, and it says it will not harm humans or non-rodent pets. If you flip it over, you can see the prongs where they plug into the wall. Now it says the technology works with a high frequency ultrasound that repels rodents. The Pest Chaser emits ultrasounds at varying volumes, peaking at 100 dB, and it varies so the mice don't become accustomed to the sound. It says it's economical and uses less than a penny a day of energy costs. Easy to use, just plug it into the wall. It's clean and humane. It's pet friendly, except for rodent pests. We won't test this out with the mice and it's convenient. Now, how do we test this out? Well, I'm gonna plug it in, see if I can hear anything. Then I'm gonna show you what I came up with to see if it works. Here's what the rodent repeller looks like out of the box. It's really small. It has prongs in back. And when you plug it in, you can see that nightlight turn on. Now I cannot hear any noise coming from this unit. Only when you put it right against your ear, you can hear a slight buzz, but basically the sound is undetectable, at least to humans, but they say it drives mice crazy. It repels them and they won't want to be around it. We're going to test that theory. What I built is a box here with a clear lid and a hole in front. This is a mouse feeding station. For the last week, I've been putting sunflower seeds in here and the mice have been coming and eating those seeds. So tonight we're going to add the rodent repeller. We're going to put it right in back, add the sunflower seeds. In theory, this is a really tight space. They should be able to hear that noise and it should repel them. The seeds should be safe. So we're gonna test this out. I'm gonna open up the lid, put the rodent repeller down there, add the sunflower seeds. I have some motion cameras above this, so we're gonna test it out. First, you'll see the footage of the mice coming without the rodent repeller. Then I'll add the footage of the mice, what happens tonight, and see if this actually works. Last night we set up the test station in the barn with sunflower seeds and the rodent repeller and as you can see all the bait is gone. Even though we placed seeds only a few inches away from the device, mice had no problem coming in, eating the food. They didn't seem too bothered by the sound. This claims to be a rodent repeller, but after seeing it in action I don't think I can recommend this device. There are a lot of products out there that claim they repel rodents. Next week we're going to test out peppermint oil with the same setup, see if it works. I'm posting between four and five rodent trap and deterrent videos a week. So if you want to see how to deal with mice, rats, squirrels, chipmunks, moles, voles, and gophers, stay tuned.